So I have a ton of favorites here that I want to show you all. I'm going to go ahead and get started and then at the end of this video will be a giveaway for you all. This is just some of my favorite products to show my appreciation to you all. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and shut my mouth because I can talk forever. So the first thing that I have been loving, and by the way this is in no particular order, are turbans. Love them and they also go really great with my bangs right now. Right now I just have my hair tied back because it is a little bit humid. But I have a red one. And then I also have a black one and these are on trend. I think I saw this either in Cosmopolitan or Allure's website. That is one of the summer trends right now. So I love turbans. Putting them on, letting my hair flow curly because I have naturally curly hair. Love it. Like I said, this is in no particular order. What I have been loving on my teeth because everybody has been telling me my teeth look a lot whiter. This is called Luster Now Instant Whitening toothpaste and this was an Allure Beauty must have or whatever on their best of beauty and I got this in my Influencer Vox box. Love it. Love it. Can totally tell a difference and then I actually spent the money on this. I was not sent this. I don't have any coupon codes for you all so I'm so sorry. This is called Whitening Lightning Gel Pen and you twist it up and you have the product right there. You put it on your teeth, you let it sit for a while or overnight. The next morning you brush your teeth and it gives you whiter teeth. So I've been loving that. And then for moisturizer slash um, primer, I'm loving the Ombrio Lisse Les Crèmes Concentrées. Love this stuff, but it is hella expensive. Hella expensive. You can actually get this at CamaraddyCosmetics.com. But like I said, it's really expensive. I got mine on Hot Look. And with shipping and all of that, it was still hella expensive, even though they discounted it. But I've been loving that. I'm kind of just throwing my products everywhere because I have them in a box. For foundations, you all know I like... I'm going to show you two drugstore... I couldn't even think. Two drugstore foundations and then two high-end foundations that I have been loving. The first one... I have been loving is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation and this is cheap as cheap can be. I mean the price is good and I really like it. It really does cover good. It lasts a long time. Loving this and then I have been using again the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous and this is the first one that I got. I do have another shade that's in Soft Honey. This is in Medium Beige. But even though this is a little bit light for me, I wanted to use it up because I couldn't return it to Walmart. Walmart doesn't take returns and nobody that I know will use this or is this color. So I'm using it up and I'm going to show you how I bronze up my face to match, make it match my skin tone. So love it. I don't like it really under the eyes because it does intensify the lines under my eyes. So I try to stay away from there when I'm applying it and then just apply, apply my concealer. But loving that. And then, this is what I have been using. This isn't, however, a June favorites. I just got it, so I can't tell you I've been loving it. <coughs> Excuse me. The whole month of June. But this is the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer. And my friend Jana Gloss and Glitz here on YouTube. Jana, thank you. She is the one that told me to run out and get this. And it's in the color Warm Tan. And it looks like this. And I used it to bronze up my face today. I didn't use any contour or any of that. And like I said, it is a cream. And it's just really subtle. It looks really great. They also have a darker color. I don't know how much product there is. But let me just say there's not too much. That's the downside of it. It is $10. Bucks. Um, I do love it. Will I repurchase? I don't know. i got to use it for a little bit longer. And I'll let you all know. And then, high-end foundations, like I said, I am not going in any particular order. I have been loving the Chanel Perfection Lumi A in SPF 10, and I'm in the color 40 Beige. And they just changed the SPF on this puppy. They changed it now to SPF 15. If you do want the SPF 10, you can still get it on Nordstrom.com. Um, the counters still do have the SPF 10. Um, but they just changed it to SPF 15, but you can still get your hands on the 10. And then I have been loving my Dior Skin Forever Flawless Perfection Fusion Wear Makeup 
SPF 25 and I'm in the color 030. I do have a review on this and on the CoverGirl foundation. I think I do on the Wet n Wild as well. I will put links below so you all can check them out but I definitely just did a review on this and it is so great. Um, it doesn't bother my acne at all. It is long wearing. It just makes my skin look flawless. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing the CoverGirl one today but this is good stuff. So love that. And then for powders, I need to do a dupes video because I have so many dupes for you all so you don't have to spend a lot of money on high-end products. I've been loving the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder and at my Walmart this is only about three bucks. I am in the shade Silky Beige. This stuff is the bomb diggity. And let me tell you, it is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Matte Oil Control Press Powder. I love this too, but let me show you also as far as colors. They're pretty much the same color. This is cheaper, does exactly the same job as the Estee Lauder. So save yourself some money unless you want to spend money on the high end. That one is good as well, but I'm just trying to save y'all a few bucks if you know what I mean. This favorites video is mostly a makeup favorites video. I have makeup all over the place. So let me go on to palettes. The first palette that I have been using religiously, I just did a review on it. Check it out. It's the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. Looks like that. And you have your bronzer, your highlighter, and your blush. I love this. This works for me. The one thing I can tell you, a lot of people don't like the bronzer, try it out, don't knock it until you try it. I actually got really lucky that it worked for me because I didn't get to swatch it. I just ordered it online and took my chances and I love it. So have a review on that, check it out. I will also put a video response. Then I've been loving the Stila Natural Eye Shadow Palette. I've had this forever. I decided, you know what, I'm going to pull out a couple of new eyeshadow palettes because I was hooked on my Naked Basics for a while and I was forgetting about my other palettes, but this is what it looks like. A lot of great colors. I mean, it's highly, highly pigmented. The only thing, they're a little bit chalky and you have to, look at that color, you have to wear a good primer because they will move, but I love that palette. And then my Urban Decay Naked 2. I have not used this in ages, in ages, let me tell you. My friend Jessica got this for me for my birthday. Jessica, thank you so much. I think she got it for me like a year ago. Started using it again. It's beautiful. I highly recommend it. I forgot how amazing this palette was because like I said, I was so into my Naked Basics palette, but I love this so much. And then everybody was asking me on my previous video, which is my review on the Naked Flushed, palette what I was wearing on my eyes and I am wearing yes wink at y'all I was wearing which is what I'm wearing today the infallible 24 hour eyeshadows and this is an amber rush I love this this is perfect for summer I mean perfection the color on my eyeballs I want to swatch it but my nails don't even fit in the little jar I'm going to swatch a little bit for you oh I'm talking so damn much in this video. Ugh. I swatched a little bit of it on top. I love it. It's really nice. It looks great on every skin tone. Check it out and try it. Another foundation. I totally forgot about this. Um, this is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Repair Absolute with Pro-Retinol, A, Hyaluronic Acid, and Prolastil. And this is what it looks like. You twist it off. And as you can see, I have hit pan. I love this so damn much. Can you tell? I cannot tell you. I just, I love it a lot. So, love that. And then the MAC Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. Love this. If you haven't seen my summer foundation video, check it out because I use them in that video. And then the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use this more for highlighting up here down my nose um, because I think it just makes for a great highlighter more than for under eye concealing. It does a good job for that too, but that's my main purpose that I use it for. Then for cheeks, I have been loving by NYX. This is called Pinched by NYX. Pinched. 
This is a long, long video. Should I cut my favorites down? I don't know. Two colors from the Reblon, Reblon, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. Honey, I've been loving that, and Charm, which I have, I have both mixed today on my lips, so I have them both on today. That's what I'm wearing in case you were wondering. And then this is by Rimmel. It is their Kate lipstick, their matte lipsticks, and this is called Kiss of Life. My husband actually bought this for me. Gorgeous red. Love, love, love. What am I forgetting, people? Oh, I just showed this in my Naked Flushed review, what I was wearing on my lips. Candy Yum Yum by MAC love this love this love this a few of you did not like it on me i love it the majority of you loved it on me my husband loves it i've been getting so many compliments from friends love that with the makeup forever aqua lip and this is in 16c and then i use the urban decay super saturated high gloss lip color in big bang so those and then i have a couple more products to show you these are the maybelline <sighs> vivids I think that's what you call them and for summer these are great this is in fuchsia flash love that and then I've been loving this one in brazen berry oh look at that oh my gosh this is they smell good too so gorgeous I love it then the makeup forever this is aqua black waterproof cream eyeshadow and I use it for eyeliner I love this stuff I love I open it up it's eyeliner we all know what eyeliner looks like right and this is my last product this is the Estee Lauder sparkling clean mattifying oil control lotion it's a toner and oil control in one and you know there's two different products to activate it you have to shake it up and then use it you apply it right after you clean your face you just apply it everywhere and then put your moisturizer your makeup and it helps to control oil so good estee lauder ah. two last things and i'll get on to the giveaway beauty blender loving that love it love it love it and then the visine a allergy relief drops love this have been making my eyes just not look red and like i'm high because i'm not people somebody said that in one of my videos which is so freaking crazy I don't do drugs people I have really bad allergies or somebody also said that I look like I was crying I was not crying I have bad allergies so this has been amazing I love it so now on to the giveaway these are some of my favorites that I am going to be giving away to one person here on YouTube one lucky subscriber the first thing I'm giving away is the NYC smooth skin bronzing face powder in sunny and it is still packaged as you can see I love this this is so awesome it's not my favorite for June but it is one of my favorites I wish I could show you so many products for my favorites but and then this is the NYC we would be here forever if I did that this is the NYC color wheel mosaic face powder and this is in pink cheek glow I also love this a lot so that's still packaged as well and then this is my one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes because they are affordable they are highly pigmented you cannot go wrong this is the wet n wild um, color icon palette in comfort zone and it is sealed and the last thing that I am giving away I will show you is this brush set from BH cosmetics it's still I haven't touched it everything's brand new everything's still wrapped up and I think this is a good brush set for beginners I really do but this is what it looks like as you can see everything's still packaged so I mean I would love to win something like this I mean come on who does not love free makeup free brushes I mean you know and I just wanted to give you guys this to thank you for being so awesome I will have a 10k giveaway I don't really do giveaways that often and I don't announce them anymore so um, when I do do my 10k giveaway I'm not going to be announcing it so when I hit 10,000 subscribers you will have to watch to see which video I'm going to be doing the giveaway I can't really say I'm just going to randomly do the giveaway and the only way you're gonna know is if you watch my videos and it's gonna be a good giveaway when I do hit 10k so all you have to do for this giveaway right now is 
be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment below and let me know what kind of video you would like to see next so do that be a subscriber let me know what you want to see me do next tutorial review bleh I know y'all love my reviews y'all love my reviews I see that I take note for my flops the first flop is the covergirl clean whipped cream makeup I don't like it because it makes me a grease ball a grease ball if any of you like this then you probably have dry skin or if you have oily skin I don't know how you make it work because I just can't make this shit work I cannot make this shit work it just does not work on my face sorry for the obscenities but I can't it just I look greasy and it's not good the next product that I am hating is from Starlux. It's called the Lash Boost Mascara Base. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, it has like it's supposed to make your lashes grow and then put these fibers to make your lashes look longer and then you put mascara over it and these little fibers one got in my eye it really irritated my eye. Don't like it and it dried out my favorite mascara. I kept trying it and trying it. I don't like this. Like I said, I don't like it. It's the Starlux Lash Boost Mascara Base. Ugh, is all I have to say. Do not like it. Then the next thing, I wouldn't say this is a flop because it does work. It does moisturize. I just don't think it's the best thing on earth like everybody claims here on YouTube because you know I'm going to give you all my honest opinion on stuff because that's just how I am. This is the Egyptian Magic. It's all right. Doesn't break me out. Yes, it does moisturize, but I honestly get better results using my Barleen's Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. This stuff beats out this. It just, I think this is very hyped. I mean, it does moisturize. I like using it on my lips, but I think it's very hyped up. And some people, I believe that that they do really truly love it but do I really truly love it like I will die and go to the ends of the earth just to go get this no and it was expensive it was like $28 and it doesn't take a lot you just use a little bit and a little goes a long way but it's all right I'm gonna do a review on it use it a little longer see what I think but so far I just haven't seen any difference in my skin or anything like that this is my holy grail like it really is I really love this stuff but thank you all so much for watching wow this video is so hella long thank you for watching see you on the next video bye